Setting up the ACO SmartLink Gateway. One of the first things that's always worth checking is that all your alarms are in factory default mode by pressing and holding the house code button until the blue light begins to flash and then release the screwdriver, ensuring you do that for all products within the system. Moving on to the app, the first thing you have to do is go into the add installations section, enter the postcode of the property. In our case, I'll enter the postcode of our headquarters, SY10 8NR, and press the search button, which will return a list of properties associated with that postcode. Then filling in the UPRN, which is the reference number for the property. Make sure this is an appropriate term as this is what you'll be using to find it later. Pressing add gateway and units when all information is filled out correctly. Then you press the add gateway button, scan, and hover the QR code scanner over the QR code on the base of the gateway, pressing next when you're done. Then select the location of where the unit is installed. So in this example, we're going to say it's installed in the attic. The location nickname section can be used to add extra detail to where the gateway is installed. However, you may also leave this blank. The gateway must then be put into house coding mode by pressing the house code button on the top of the unit until the light goes solid blue and then release. It will then flash a number of times to indicate how many devices it is coded to. This, as it's the first device, should only flash once, as confirmed by the flash count screen. If it matches, press count confirmed. Then we proceed to the step where you add alarms to the system, pressing add unit, making sure to scan both QR codes, both on the module and the alarm itself. When, when it scans both, it will automatically exit you from the QR code scanner. Then input the location of where this alarm is installed. As it's a 3028, I'll be installing this within the kitchen. Then place the alarm onto the base using the house code button to put the alarm into house coding mode by again pressing the house coding button until the light goes solid blue and then release. As this is two separate sensors, we'll be looking for three flashes on both the gateway and the alarm. Pressing count confirmed when the count matches on all the units within the system. Making sure to scan both QR codes on the bottom of the alarm. Pressing next when done. As this is a 3024, I'll be, I'll be installing this in the hallway. Pressing next when done. Like last time, pressing the house code button until the light goes solid blue, then release. We'll be looking for four flashes on all products within the system. When matches, pressing count confirmed. As this is the last product within the system, we'll be pressing finish this time rather than add unit. And it will then ask you to press the house code button on the gateway till the light goes solid blue, then release. The yellow GSM light will then come on as the gateway uploads the profile to the cloud. When it's done, press next, and we should get a green cloud symbol to confirm. Pressing complete when done. And that's how you set up an ACO SmartLink gateway.